Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to make a game called Beetle in Maze. This is a very basic game where you have to avoid your beetle from touching the black color. Going before going to the coding part, I will let I will firstly explain the few basic things that you are going to need in this. For example, I'm having this character here. The name of the character is Toby, and by default, this is called as Sprite. For making the game, you might be interested in having a different character here, or you might be interested in having multiple characters. This is called a sprite button, where you can uh, choose the sprite from the given library of the picto blocks, or you can create your sprites using the paint option, or you can upload any sprite, any image from your uh, storage computer storage. So so far now, I'm using here Beetle. So this is my sprite. For now, and I'm deleting the Toby. Also, for creating the game, you are interested in creating the environment. For example, if you are trying to make a temple run game, you might be interested in having the rope, in having the flame and mountains, right? So, for designing the stage or for having the multiple uh, things on the stage, go to the backdrops. Again, from here, you can choose from the given library of the picto blocks, or you can choose. Uh, or you can upload the image from your system storage so far now i'm selecting the maze the basic working of this game is to move this beetle from this point to this apple avoiding the black color i will be using the arrows and i will be sensing the black color and the red color before moving ahead just know that this stage this stage is working is like a 2d graph for moving upward uh, you have to change the y coordinate to a certain value for example if the existing value is zero then you have to change you have to increment in the existing map value one by one for example say firstly you updated the value by five next time you have to update the value again by the same amount or moving downward you have to update the uh, y coordinate in uh, minus direction for example say you are moving the downward and in this downward direction all the values of y are in minus so if you want to, if you want to move downward from this direction you have to keep subtracting the existing value same in the same way if you are moving in the right direction you have to change the value of x in plus direction so plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 and for moving the left direction you have to change the value of x in minus so change value change x by minus 5 change x by minus 5 uh, for every time you are pressing the left arrow so we are moving, we will be controlling all these movements using the arrow buttons of our keyboard. And uh, along with the movement, we will also be controlling the direction. For example, if I'm pressing the upward arrow, the direction of this beetle must be upward. If I'm you know, using, if I'm pressing on downward arrow, the direction must change to downward. So let's just delete this coordinate from here. Firstly, we have to set the size of this beetle to a smaller value, it's now 100%, so we have to reduce the uh, uh, size to a lower value. Also, we have to set the initial coordinates for this, so that whenever we are starting our game, this beetle must, this game must start from the initial position. Along with the initial coordinate, we, have, we also need to set the uh, initial direction, which is the upward. So, let's start writing the code. Firstly, sprite dot set size to 40 percent this will reduce the size to 40 percent sprites dot go to in the initial coordinates minus 145 and minus 154 sprite dot set direction we are taking y axis as a reference so angle must be zero now let's check so here is the initial part is over now the logical part is remaining so we have to create a loop so that that can sense any event any interrupt that we are giving from the keyboard okay so while this loop will repeat uh, continuously until we close the program so for sensing the keyboard can we have to check for different different conditions for up arrow and down arrow so sprite dot is key pressed up arrow sprite dot change y by 5 l if sprite dot is key pressed down arrow right dot change y by minus 5 let's just check these two conditions it's moving upward perfectly it's moving downward perfectly but the thing is it's not changing its direction so for changing the direction we have to add a function here 
sprite dot set direction for moving upward the direct angle is 0 degree and for moving downward the angle is 180 degree sprite dot set direction angle 90 degree so in the same way we have to set the condition for others now let's check again it's moving upward downward left side right side it's also changing the direction along with the movement so the movement part is over now the sensing part l if sprite dot is touching color so we have to give the color in rgb values so first color is red then green and then blue since here we are having the black color when we give the value for all these r g and b equal to zero this will give the result as as a black color uh, otherwise we can give any color from there so far now zero comma zero comma zero so this is the black color if touching the black color sprite dot say you lost the game retry okay so this message will be displayed for one second and after displaying this message as p r i t s go to x y minus 145 and minus 154 along with the direction sprite dot set direction as zero degree and in the else part we have to check for the red color l if sprite dot is sprite dot is touching color for red color 255 0 and 0 because we have only given the maximum value for r and other two values are 0 0 so this will result us as a red color so here sprite will say msa that's sprite dot say won the game okay and break this will break the loop okay now let's check the working of the code you lost the game and retry let's check avoiding the red black color okay we are out of the loop and in this way we have created a simple game the name of the game is beetle in maze so hope you liked the video thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe my channel